When you search on YouTube for timelines, milestones, photo album or product catalog, you end up getting hundreds of uh, tutorials, hundreds of slides, but almost they are kind of uh, similar to each other. So I thought of why can't we do it something different, we make it something more interesting and more uh, creative. So here I have designed this slide, you can see here I have created one bridge where you can see the railway tracks and some landscape this is all done in powerpoint all 100 percent powerpoint and when i click you can see here the train is approaching and this also everything is done in powerpoint and this is the timeline i have created you can see here it's 1985 you can type your own text then 1990 then 2000 2010 and the last 2015 and 20. isn't it great to show the information something like this more animated way more fun way not only this one i have created four different slides so let me just go to the next slide now and the second slide looks something like this see the train is coming slowly and I have put the photos here you can type your text also I have not added the text so or you can just uh, share your memories with your colleagues or with your co-workers about your journey in the company also you can add your own photos there i have added only five or six photos if you want you can just add more compartments to the train and the next slide which i have made is for if I play, you can make the train faster also, but uh, it doesn't look good if you make it faster. And here you can put your own text here. You can see here I put the icons on the top or you can place the icons on the beside the text also. And another slide where I have added here you can see I have created something for the school children where it will just show okay this is the football with the icons mango banana and I've given some different colors so that the children will like it. And it's a fun way of teaching your children. So let's see how to create this beautiful train design or train inspired PowerPoint slide. This tutorial could be a bit lengthy. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to create the train engine. You can see here this all done in PowerPoint. All small, small parts you can see here. All we have done it in PowerPoint. And I cannot go you and show you each and every detail, but I can just show you uh, how to make uh, the engine, uh, but with less details. So first let's start with the base. So I'm just going to select one rectangle and I'm going to draw a rectangle. This is for the base. Shape outline, make it no outline and I'm going to select the color which I have selected here which is orange color. And then you can go to insert shapes and you can just select this particular rectangle stop corner around it draw the rectangle top corner around it and rotate it 
you can go to rotate and you can just say rotate left 90 degrees and keep it here something like this if you want you can make it somewhat bigger also shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give select the same color of this one and then i'm going to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle uh, somewhat bigger and the same color i'm going to give make it no outline you can see here i'll just keep some gap and then i'm going to add one more rectangle a smaller one I press ctrl d to duplicate it reduce the size you can increase till here or you can just let me just delete this i will just select this object bring it here rotate to this one flip horizontal and put it something like this make it less curved and then you can add some more small details to it first of all i'm just going to add a black line there as a kind of a shadow that's a part of the door or entrance make it no outline make it black and then you can just say send to back it will be something like this and this also i'm just going to put the other side just send back it will be and then i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to select one more rectangle and this rectangle i'm going to give a lighter color of red which is this color shape outline make it no outline and add one more press ctrl d bring the other side reduce the size make sure that it is aligned properly and i will just zoom in right mouse click edit points and i will just drag this up and drag this down so you end up getting a kind of this shape and here also i'm just going to add this one press ctrl d just increase the size till here keep it till here maybe and then you can draw the window i'll just select a rectangle again shape outline make it no outline and give some darker gray color to it this color and i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give a lighter gray which is this color increase the size so this should look should look like a frame sorry send this to back and bring this frame in the front you can see here so i'm just going to select this move it up or till here and add the small
rectangle shape outline no outline and give the same color and better to zoom it and work it zoom in so you know what is happening and control D add one more here and select this dark gray I'm going to give some realistic effect go to format shape and under shadows shadow go presets and you can just select maybe this one so you got kind of a window realistic window and you can see here let me just close this and then you can draw this rounded corners rectangle smaller one select this rounded corner rectangle make it a small one i will make it fully curved reduce the size and give them this yellow color the same thing what we have used and shape outline make it no outline you can further reduce it the size press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to make it four group it ctrl g to group and paste it here all right and then you can add something again press ctrl d to duplicate bring this here and here again ctrl d give some a little gap bring it here and then select this two press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and rotate it to flip horizontal and place it exactly here and later on i'm just going to select this base and bring to forward bring to front so it will look something like this and then you can add some small lines which i have added like this i'll just select this make small lines the same dark color shape outline make it no outline control d to duplicate two three four five six seven eight and make sure that select all align to top and control g to group it and bring to this side And if you want to reduce, you can reduce it and put it in the center. Press Ctrl D to duplicate, make it smaller, and you can put it somewhere here also. One Ctrl D, make it more smaller, and put it this side. and i'm just going to add one more for the staircase give the darker red shape outline make it no outline press ctrl d to duplicate and give the this light color and put it something like this giving this much space or you can zoom it you can see something like this control G to group and bring this side something like this so this is the entrance to this engine and then I'm going to draw the uh, this one stair railing for that very simple select the shape select a right or uh, just rectangle and make it something like this 
shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white put it to the corner and one more press ctrl d reduce the size and put it here zoom in and then control d also you can reduce the size rotate it and join these two you can reduce this also little bit increase here so it's it takes some time but eventually you will get it right see here it will be something like this let me just increase the size all right and then i'll add the smaller one i'll select maybe a new one better small rectangle and put it here shape outline again make it no outline and white color control d this will be one 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 and this should be bigger size okay and select this bring to front again so you can see here our staircase is also ready and you can similarly do the staircase this side also again for me simple i'll just select this bring it here reduce the size All right, and then add this also. Control D. One and two is enough. Again, bring this to front. So almost uh, the upper part is ready. Now let's draw the wheels. So here one more thing which I did wrong. I have to just reduce this railing. Because it has to go till here only and I'm going to add one more. And if you want add some kind of this small the light i'll just select this very smaller one with the same color no outline see you got this one and then you can make some yellow lines here so let's draw the the bottom part which are the wheels part so i'll just go to select shapes and i'll just select the rounded corner rectangle and i'm just going to give a different shape to it again i'm going to select the rounded corner rectangle i will put one something like this okay and then i'm going to select ctrl d to duplicate it reduce the size and i'm going to put here 
like this and the other side also I'm going to put it something like this select all these objects merge shape and just say fragment and I'm going to delete this part this 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 so I end up with this one so here this is my base for the wheels you can see here I'm just going to put it here and I'm going to add two wheels here to add the wheels go to insert select this hollow circle draw the hollow circle make it this one color you can use the same color shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to insert one more circle a smaller circle and this will be black color and I will paste it here in the center align center align middle and select this make it no outline and you can zoom it you can see here we have done something like this let me just reduce the size a little bit again format align center align middle so this wheel is ready control G to group it and I'm going to place the wheel here and send this to back this also I'll make it no outline and press ctrl D and add the wheel here this also sent to back let's zoom in right mouse click go to format and give some shadow effect I'll just select maybe this shadow effect and I'm going to add some more one more shape to it or let me just add this one rotate it give the same color the dark color of this shape outline make it no outline and attach it like this all right now you can see here i have added some uh, suspension to it so for that i can select this ctrl d to duplicate it rotate it reduce the size and you can add some let me just reduce it further some suspensions to it shape outline make it no outline press one control D to duplicate two three four group this and put it here and one more sorry put it there so here you can see uh, the base is ready uh, the wheel sorry and then I'm going to add one more rectangle which should go outside of the the engine shape outline make it no outline and make it fully black and send this to back I believe this is black yeah and then select this and before that I'm just going to add one more rectangle the black here
no outline and just select this control G to group it and put it here bring to front you can see here the tires are ready I'm just going to select this again this whole part control G to group it control D to duplicate it and put it the other side and here in between you can add one more rectangle small rectangle shape fill i'm going to use the same gray color shape outline make it no outline sorry i did a mistake shape fill i'll just give some dark gray color again and shape outline make it no outline so you can see here almost our engine design is ready and then we have to add this also in the front where i'll just add something like this it's a staircase to go to the engine make it fully black shape outline make it no outline and add or better to zoom add one more rectangle till the corner black and no outline these two you can just align right sorry align left and then let's draw a staircase to draw a staircase i'm just going to select one rectangle something like this this much size maybe and you can give the same gray color shape outline make it no outline and then go to insert shapes select a rectangle make a small rectangles shape outline make it no outline I'm going to make it one, two, and three. I will reduce the size from the bottom. So here, all right. So I'm going to just select this one format, merge shape. You can just say subtract reduce the size and put it here so you can see here the staircase is also ready and the front i'm just going to use one trapezoid rotate the shape this one make it fully black reduce the size and you can see here this is done so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to select this hole press ctrl g to group ctrl d to duplicate and put it the other side of the engine just rotate it and paste it here 
that's it you can see here our engine is ready i will press ctrl g to group it now if you want to increase the size decrease the size you can do it now let's draw the bridge i'm just going to add a new slide i will delete this I will close this and then I will go to insert shapes. I will just going to select one rectangle, something like this. And you can give a black color with no outline. And then I'm going to insert shapes, select this rectangle, top corners rounded, make it fully rounded and put it like this. I will increase the one more you can give some space or I think this space is enough press ctrl D the third one the third one I'm going to make it bigger and then the smaller one and select all this just align top then select this merge shape or i will just select all i'll go to format merge shape subtract so you can see here the design is ready or this doesn't look good so let me just put it like this I think this is okay so let me just select all merge shape and just say subtract so you can see our bridge is ready and if you want to give some shadow effect press ctrl d to duplicate give some lighter color and send this to back you can see here you can make something like this to give the a realistic feeling and then you can put one track or before putting track you can add one more smaller like this the stones or the cement thing is there below the track so I'm just going to draw that select this two union and give white color or whatever shape outline make it no outline let me just change the background of the slide i'll just select gradient fill maybe i can just select some sky color at the top okay then let me just select it make it very smaller one You can make it a white color maybe or somewhat gray maybe white is not visible make it more smaller yes ctrl d just press ctrl d to duplicate till the end of the slide yes that's okay i'm just going to select so i need one more some more to the other side also so let's select all align top ctrl g to group it and put it here on the bridge and i'm going to add a very straight 
arrow not arrow or line so i'm just going to select a rectangle make it black color shape outline make it no outline and put it here see here our tracks are ready let me just reduce the size and then i'm just going to place the engine here so i'm going to select this engine control c and control v to copy this is very big if you want to big you can make it bigger i'm just going to reduce the size a uh, smaller one and here you can see here the engine and if you want to animate simple go to animation add animation go down lines so instead of going down you bring it something like this make sure that this is straight line and let's play the animation animation play pain and then you can see it's gone very fast but i'm just going to remove the animation and later part we can add the animation so to get to add the compartments i'm just going to ungroup this and i'm going to select only the bottom part press control d to duplicate and control g to group you can see here the only the bottom part is there i don't want this also and you can copy this and bring it here reduce the size to match the bogey or the engine you can see here and put it something like this i'm going to select this control d to duplicate zoom out put something one more you have to zoom in and just make sure that this is properly aligned and here also you have to see this is also properly aligned yeah a little bit yes so you can see here and if you want to add some text or some you can add the text i will just say 1985 i'll set select the font which is century gothic and put it here and you can press control d sorry i'm just going to copy this select move this and put it here maybe this is 1995 and you can add your text here also let me just add some text like this you can add your text make it bold control d to duplicate and then zoom out and i'm going to select only the engine and the compartments control g to group it and animation add the same animation So instead of going down drag this red point at the end okay so double click you can make it smooth start timings you have to make it extremely slow or you can give maybe 45 seconds just say okay and when i play 
when I click, you can see it started moving. So the alignment is not properly done for the wheels for the second one. Here you can see here it's it's in the air because of the this is not I have to put properly. You have to make sure that this is done properly. So anyway, you can just uh, align it. So use it as per your convenience this is going to take some time but if you don't have time the slide is already provided in the comment section or in the video description section just download it and use it That's it from me friends, thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff, till then goodbye.